Hey everyone, this is Mason over at the Kendall Report, and as a part of Bob's new nine-part video course, we're going to take a look at the Market Grid video. In this video, we're going to go over STX buy and sell signals, how to understand the various ranges and sequences inside of the Market Grid, and then finally how to apply it to your trading. If you already purchased the trading room indicators or the live room, you already have access to this video course. If you have not got the videos yet, you can email us at info at kendallreport.com. So again, thank you for watching and enjoy. Well, let's start by going to indicators, the invite only scripts, and let's put the WaveTech market grid on the screen. When it comes up the an orange range, which is the extreme, and then you'll see blue cyan dots and red dots, which are the resistance levels. On the right hand side, I have this indicator turned on so it would display the values on the right hand side in the price range. So you can see the last trade is a real time S&P futures chart. Then you'll see the, the purples are the resistance and the cyan are the resistance. So you can see exactly how it's trading uh, just on the screen. It's trading right below S1 right now. And, I was, and so you can see where it's positioned based on how everything's unfolding here. But it's taking that three bar consideration and it's putting a range. And I just want you to just look at this screen and notice that for the most part, we do not exceed the low values or the high values of this range projection. And you'll see when volatility increases, the range gets bigger and it comes back in. So let's talk about a couple events that are significant. And the SXT, and a lot of times I call it STX because on the old indicator it was STX. That if we get a close below this value, which occurred right here, that's considered to be a STX buy signal. And it suggests that at least the next few bars will be sideways. And in this case, we did get a sequence to the upside. Here was another buy right over here and a sequence to the upside unfolded. I don't see any STXs. The inverse happens if we get a close above the RTX level. You get a close above that, then you're going to see some sideways. We, we don't have any closes on the screen. This one was fairly close, but it looks like it was right on it. But the bottom line is those are extreme events. When that happens, it, the markets tend to reverse. They don't have to. Sometimes they'll get multiple versions in a row, but intraday, they really don't get those. If we were to bring up the daily chart, you'll see that these RTX sell signals, STX buy signals only happen about 12% of the time. So 90% of the time, the markets are gonna stay within these ranges. Let's go to the settings and you go to the wheel on settings. I just wanna show you some of the inputs here. And right now it's set on a length of three. I believe you can go up to 200 here. I'm just I'm just going to put uh, 200 here. I'm, you might be able to even go higher, but I'll go to 200, and I'll, you'll see that the range changes. So that's a 200-day volatility range that you're seeing here, and I I don't suggest to use that. You can change this somewhere between a three and five range is what I would suggest. So let's put this back to the level of three, and this is a typical volatility. This works best. It's what I use 90% of the time. I very seldom change this. And this is really the best. And all this is expected to do for you, especially if you're day trading and you're trying to find directional movement, you, you can get locations here. Like I said, this in use with the PPMs. The PPMs are one of the primary indicators that are used in a lot of the techniques that I, I do. But for this, just... You could just trade off of this, and I'm going to show you the WaveTech webs, which will give you even better recognition here. This gives you some good pattern recognition. It also gives you expectations of how the bars are going to change. This is the basic setup for the WaveTech market grid.